Free beer and hot wings in the morning. Grand Rapids rocks all day. 97.9 GRD. Cloudy and cooler. Some showers. 60 the high. It's 52. Downtown GR. Well, there was a robbery yesterday at Meadowar Jewelers in Portage. And it is, uh, like on Wood TV, their graphic says, an elaborate break-in. That is not exaggerating. Holy cow. Portage are investigating an elaborate jewelry theft. It left a big mess for the jeweler and two other businesses in the same building. The thieves carved out walls to sneak in. Marva's Herring talked to business owners caught in the middle of the weekend heist. It sounds like a scene out of a movie. Someone breaks into this business and then weasels their way through multiple walls and pipes to execute their jewelry store heist. And how they got into their safe or vault or whatever they have, that's just amazing to get from building to building so to building. So that gentleman is the owner of, uh, what was it, Paws and Claws, I think, uh, a pet grooming business. Yeah. And that's where they initially broke in. And if you're that place, you probably don't need as tight a security as, you know, yeah. you know as the jewelry store. Because they're in a strip mall, but then boom, through the walls. John Mills' wife owns Paws and Claws Pet Grooming in this now-damaged building connected to Metawar Jewelers. It's where investigators say the jewelry thieves started their dirty work, and these photos show the mess that they left behind wow. as they tore through two businesses to get to the safe. They were ready, and they were, you could tell. They went in, and they meant it. Portage police agree that there was meticulous planning. So they, had, uh, they were showing they had cut through the drywall and gone through holes big enough for a human to crawl through mm -hmm. in the wall into the bathroom of the next store that's adjacent. It looks like a movie. It really, it really does. Yeah. Yeah. It took a uh, knowledge and it took a methodology, and uh, obviously it must have taken some time. <laughs> Work continued for investigators and business owners today. Dustings for fingerprints were still visible as Mills and wow. others worked on repairs. And they just threw the vanity right to the side with the sink in it and the water heater underneath it. They just kicked that right to the side. And we spoke with the jewelry store owner who was happy the safe with customer items was not affected. I feel bad that they had to go through this because trying to get to my store through their stores. Why is he smiling? Menor says he hopes to because reopen the safe by... Is still there. Yeah. yeah, he's in on it. Wednesday, He's not and we did it. speak with property managers who confirmed to us that there are no cameras outside of these three businesses. The cameras inside of Metawar Jewelers didn't seem to catch much, so Portage mm. Police want to hear from you if you know anything. In Portage, Marvis Herring, 24-Hour News 8. My that business is. got robbed, but it's okay because everything is fine. Well, he's got what do you want him to do? Go yes. on TV and weep? Yeah, yes. I mean he's got insurance. Yeah, I mean ruined. it sucks, it but blows. you've never smiled when you were uncomfortable or disappointed. I do all the time. I laugh. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I laugh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or yeah, I laugh at the worst timing ever. Yeah. Boy, that sucks. You, you know they did their research. They knew there were no cameras on the outside. Well, and they knew that those bathrooms adjoined one another. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did. They they did a little research. It's counted kinda, kinda counted kinda steps. Cool. That movie Blue Streak. Okay. It's nothing like the movie Blue Streak. Well, you mm. didn't need to tell me because I've never seen it. Yep. You referenced a movie I've heard of, but <laughs> never seen it. All right, then. It's just like the movie Blue Streak, guys. Yep. It's just like a home movie that I know you would too if you saw it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You really have never seen this movie? It's yeah. a great movie. No, I saw the it. front of it when I walked by it at video stores when that was still a thing, <laughs> and I went, Psh. Only if it's the last one. Yeah, I went, oh. Are you serious? I watched this so I many mean, times. I mean, look at that hilarious uh, photo of Martin Lawrence. It was real. That, that's I'll, his disguise. I'll yeah, that's hilarious. That's I'll, to get back into the police station. I'll, I know it. It's funny. I'm laughing. I bet that movie was funny. It is funny. It that, is. That it's hilarious. It actually is a very funny picture. It is. I like it. I think I would It like is it. funny. Well, I think I would have liked it then, for yep. sure. Do you guys want to come over and watch Blue Streak? No, no, thanks. No, I don't. Can I come over and watch Blue Streak at your house? No, thanks. No. no. I don't want you to try we to only watch family films at my house. This is family film. It is not. It is too. It's, it's rated R. He has a family. <laughs> I don't. It's got to be rated R. <laughs> it's not rated R. Maybe, maybe 13. It's not rated R. What's it rated? I watched it as yeah, a child. Yeah, PG-13. I, I, now, 13. I don't think that, uh, based on the things you've told us, I'm not sure that things you watched as a kid immediately mean that they were appropriate for a kid. You're right. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 36%. Hey, wow. It box office 
made $117 million. I was going to say, I know it was a hit. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Rated yeah, NC-17, well, one of the highest grossing comedies of all time. That was uh, that was peak Martin Lawrence, 1999. Oh. Is Martin Lawrence alive or dead? He's alive. He's alive? He is? Yeah. Yes. He was in Wild Hogs. Oh, yeah, that's right. He killed that role. Tim Allen and John Travolta and a, somebody else. Was Martin Lawrence, wasn't there a time where he was ranting in an intersection and he said he got overheated? Yeah, he was like n- nude. and went, Eddie yeah, Murphy? Yeah, he went crazy. Nope. Definitely well, Martin he, Lawrence. He went, I think he might have gone a little crazy, too. But Martin Lawrence was the one who was delirious in an intersection somewhere in Hollywood. Yes. Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. Oh, yes. Hey, you would know. Yeah. <laughs> I would. <laughs> yeah. He also played in the NBA under the name Joanna Mann. Did you know that, Justin? I saw that movie. <laughs> Come on. Right after watching The Sixth Man. Greatest NBA or basketball movies of all time. Nope.